what it is and what it ain't. I'm going to let y'all know what I think. But first, you got to hit that post notification bell button so you always be in the loop every time I drop a new video. This your boy, Goldmouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Everybody go check out my affiliate links down below. And make sure y'all hit my cash out, mad promo, M-A-G-P-R-O-M-O. Today we finna talk about that boy Terrence Gangsta Williams from Cash Money Records, the original hot boy, man. So get your pop going, sit back and relax, man. And make sure y'all cash out me, man. Mad promo, all the donations count. Help me reach uh, at least 100,000 subscribers, man. And you know what I mean? I'm going to keep bringing y'all this hot content. But let me get straight down to it, man. We got that boy uh, Terrence Gangster Williams in the news headlines because everybody want to know how he got out of prison. And, you know, it's a sealed document because the judge wasn't able to release this sealed document, man. You know what I mean? To the public. See, back in 2021, you know, the judge had stopped letting... Uh, any sealed documents uh, get released to the public or, you know, they stopped giving them to the inmates who testified because, you know, it could have been some type of retaliation or something like that. And a lot of cats was getting assaulted when they came through the prison. And, you know, the, uh, the inmates to see the paperwork and see that the documents weren't sealed and find out who all they told on and they'll get beat up and assaulted right there. So the judge stopped doing that because before 2021, if you told something, all of it was made public. But now they got it to where they can hide certain stuff. You know what I mean? Because that boy gangster telling about open charges. You know what I mean? Anytime when you telling about something old or you just putting a nigga away, they're going to put it in the transcripts. And, you know, when you go to trial or something, all that's going to be in there. You know what I mean? So when you go to Google this dude's name up, it should say uh, what he did, who he told on, everybody's name, because the feds put your name out there. You know what I mean? But in this situation, the feds just hide the whole documents, and they just keep it closed for good because nobody don't really know what happened in that courtroom. Why did he get a life sentence cut to 27 years? But a lot of people saying the reason why because he told on Birdman. Some of them documents got something to do with Birdman. And you know how I know? Because the feds been trying to get Birdman for the last 25 years. The whole time he been in jail, the feds been coming up to him and trying to get him to cooperate against Birdman. See, they wanted Birdman so bad that they would have gave him three years for all the murders and all the stuff he had if he would have told on Birdman from the get-go. But he couldn't do it, so he told on a few other niggas, and then he didn't tell on his brother and certain other niggas. That's why they didn't give him his whole... Uh, prison reduction because you know he played with them they came with three years first then they came with like 15 years and then they stuck him with the elbow at the end because he didn't finish cooperating on his brother so I guess he got that deal back on the table and then he took it because you know we used to read about him in Dundee was a feds magazine but you know Birdman really never spoke about him he just said that was his brother or whatever. But, you know, nobody didn't know he had a 5K1. You know what I mean? But up the people in the inside. But we just finding out that the judge never gave out that paperwork anyways with the real documents when he told. So it's a whole bunch of transcripts that, you know, nobody will never get to read that he told on. You know what I mean? So you got to take his word. Know what I mean? That he told on dead people. Bizzle, how Bizzle said, Bizzle said that he told on him. And you know what I mean? Birdman, he don't trust him because, you know, the feds warned him from back in the days about a whole bunch of drug trafficking and stuff. And, you know, they was on that boy Killer Stone, too. But all the uh, information they got from uh, Hot, Hot Boy, 
gangster turned out to be good information. That's why he got out. They gave him emergency release because he gave up all the information he knows. They let him out early. They don't let you out on emergency release and send you to another state. And your family got to say that you're in another state because they talked to his mama. And she didn't even know where he was at the time because they got him on government protection. You know what I mean? They put you in the house, give you real room and board, give you phones, give you everything. But when you walk away from it, you can't go back in it. So you can't tell nobody where you stay at, where you move at, nothing. You know what I mean? You got your fake identification card, just like that boy Alpo had, just in case some cats run up into him on the streets and be like, ain't you a hot boy gangster? He can say no nah because his driving license and stuff say another name. You know what I mean? Because once he got his record sealed, they gave him a new identity. You know what I mean? Y'all still know him as gangster, but he don't go around and put that on a piece of paper. He got a whole new name. You know what I mean? And he get paid for telling on people and open cases like uh, the feds pay for all that podcast equipment. You know what I mean? They probably told him to go get Miss Fran, Queen Francis, or whatever, man. And you know what I mean? The big cases on niggas that don't know no better, like uh, Reginelli Turk, Stacy, all them cats coming on his podcast, don't know they've been wiretapping videos and stuff like that. And all that stuff can be used against them in the court of law. You know what I mean? That boy gangster. He ain't keeping it real with nobody, man. Keeping it real to stay free. He let you know if it's up to uh, him, he going to be free, man. It's, it's either you or him. So he don't care, man. He don't care who don't rock with him, who don't fuck with him. He got to do what he got to do because he want a piece of this money. Slim still fuck with him, but Birdman ain't giving him shit because Birdman think he told on him till he see the documents and stuff like that. They want to know, like, bro, you got out on some fishy shit, and I got top-notch lawyers, and my lawyers can't even find out the information. So there's some shit going on with your name, man, so you can't come around here right now. So that's basically what it is. So gangster know he laughing, so he got to find some other niggas to tell on, probably some other big fish out there in New Orleans or give up a whole bunch of other bodies and stuff because they trying to say Birdman know about a lot of bodies and stuff like that because uh, New Orleans was the murder capital of the world. And you know what I mean? This cat gangster, he can just close a couple of files that they've been trying to close and they already had enough information. They just need more key witnesses and stuff like that. So they put a cat like gangster on the streets to go ahead and entice these young cats to give up information and he go well wire. Or he just got the podcast set up to where everything go to the feds. And they going to get him, man. It's special intelligence, man. They don't play like that. If you working for the feds, you on up for life, man. And, you know, nigga seen his 5K1 plan. You know what I mean? But that nigga told, man, how you get, about, how you get back a life sentence and you had an elbow to 27 years. And the judge don't tell why he let you out. And you just get out all of a sudden, you know what I mean, on uh, emergency release and kicked out to the streets. And you got a home already and a job. You got money stacked up. Man, you got put out under the government protection, man. They gave you a house and room and board because your brother done not want to accept you and stuff. You probably on parole and you got to check in. So you still up under them people uh, protection the junk because when they let you out, you can't go back in and be like, hey, man, I've been hanging with the fellas. Could I come back in? You got to have information. You already made your choice to rock with them. So you got to rock with the feds to the bus side, man. That's how it go because they'll pick you up and bring you back in for the same charges they let you out on. So everybody know you snitching fulfill your contract and stay on the streets. You might not get no money. You just getting housing and, you know, you get your freedom. Just to try to tell on somebody from Cash Money, Birdman, your brother, Hot Bezo. I think he really wanted Hot Bezo.
You want none of, some of them niggas to snitch and talk crazy, and then they're going to come pick them up. And then you're going to be out here by yourself. That's what the plan is. Peace of mind.